Hey guys, what's going on? This is Hunter, and I have some more exciting news for you guys. Um, I saw how much feedback we got on the last video that we uploaded about the confirmed PlayStation 4 features and information. So I decided to, you know, go out of my way and try to find you guys some more confirmed information. And I have found a lot of stuff. This was all confirmed by Sony, so I think you're going to like what you hear. Some stuff you might not like, but mostly you're going to like what you hear. So, uh, first thing... The PlayStation 4 will not support the DualShock 3 controller. Um, a lot of you are probably bummed by this because now you have to buy a new controller. It's not all bad news though. Uh, the PlayStation Move will still be supported, so you don't have to buy all new accessories. So you do save some money, but you know, uh, I, I don't think it's that ba big of a deal because the PlayStation 4 uh, controller, the DualShock 4, is $60, $59.99, which is the price of a game. It's it's not too much, but it's bad for you people that like like to buy a lot of controllers, like three or four. Um, I only usually keep two controllers, so I'm probably not even gonna buy a second controller this time. And another feature is that the PS4 will support 3D games. Um, that's what they said this morning, but they didn't give any info on like what it's gonna be. All they said is that there will be more information coming. So I think they have something really cool planned for this information. So we just gotta wait and see, and when I find out, you guys will find out, because I will definitely make a video on it. The PS4 size is a little bit smaller than the original PlayStation 3 that was shipped at launch. It's actually most comparable to the Slim, not the Super Slim, the original PS3 Slim. I would say that's what it's most comparable to. So the size isn't that big of a deal. It's not too big, not too small. And the hard drive will be changeable. Um, it comes with a 500 GB hard drive, but just like the PlayStation 3, you can change the hard drive, which I think a lot of you might do, since now it's the next gen and a lot of people are going to have a lot of stuff on their new system, such as movies, music, and downloadable content and games. So, no problem if you need a bigger hard drive. Another thing that a lot of PlayStation Nation fans that have been wanting to see is that what will happen to my original PlayStation Network ID? Turns out it will be usable on the PS4, and now you can actually control the info you want people to see. They didn't uh, really specify on what this information is, but I'm guessing that it's going to be the appear offline mode and all these other modes that the Xbox has. So, if you're trying to play a game online, and I guess your friends are bothering you or something, you could actually do an appear offline mode, most likely, so that people don't bother you or whatever, if you're trying to just have some like alone time. That's what I think. Um... It hasn't been confirmed on what these modes are going to be, but there are going to be like different modes and different ways to display your information to the online community. So anyway, that's all the information I have for um, the PlayStation 4 that is confirmed. There are rumors, but these are, this is all the confirmed information that we have. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please smack that like button, and please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our future videos. Peace out, guys.